Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I am Crazy Crafter and we got Valheim. Now, two things. One, Valheim got a big update called Hearth and Home. Basically, this update, it changes a good bit from what I know. It also added in a few minor bugs. But that is to be expected. So, there will be a few little glitches, things that shouldn't happen. However, still, big update. Also, I am playing with Incinerator, who suggested we start up a new world, because A, the update, and B, he didn't feel like playing the old one after what happened, which I can understand. So, we've got this one. Incinerator is currently sitting in the call with me. I don't know where he is, though. I'm here. I said I was back and you didn't say anything. That's because I had disappeared to grab a drink. Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and start up this. And incinerator, I will DM you the password that I had chosen. Okie doke. You can go ahead and start up your OBS and do an intro, mute it or not. I don't really care that much. Yep, and I'm about to. I doubt the people watching care. By the way, Incinerator is recording his perspective of this. I will probably be linking his video in the description. At least when it comes out. His isn't going to be coming out at the same time. Or is probably going to be coming out around the same time as mine. So... So it may not be linked at first, but I'll do my best to remember to link it. And if it's not in the description, someone go yell at me to link it. Mm -hmm. And I'm starting now. What's up? This is my first official YouTube video. Um, I think this is my first intro. Let's just go straight into what we're playing. Today we are playing Valheim. We are starting up a new world with Crazy Crafter YT, Hello. and hopefully we shall see how this goes. But this shall be our first series on the channel, and we shall go from there. Series. Yes, it's your second Belheim series since the last one ended roughly. Yes. So you started up a server for me to join. It says I'm loading right. Now. It says I'm loading in. Okay. Let's see how long it takes. Eight years later. Oh, by the way, guys, while I'm on the subject of Valheim, or kind of on the subject of Valheim, I plan up. I've got already got incinerators confirmed joining, as well as as many. But we're planning on having a bit of a Valheim tournament. Or Valheim Survival of the Fittest, which was inspired by another YouTuber who is also quite small. I, if I don't link him in in this video, I'll be sure to link in the survival video. And again, you can yell at me if I don't link it, but yeah, I do plan on doing that sometime. And we've already got Incinerator confirmed to join. Now, unlike his, we will not be playing for money. We will just be playing for bragging rights. I bag bragging rights mean who is the best video gamer? The best Valheim guess, player. We already know it's either going to be me or Crazy Crafter. Hello. So, I mean, there's not really much of a competition... I've still got the, I still got the black loading screen. A black screen of death. That's part of the Caribbean. We need we need uh some copyright free <laughs> or public domain. Um, somebody pull out some uh NCS. Uh, dubstep music. <laughs> <laughs> I 
It is someone someone write us a public domain so or someone write us a song we can use in our videos. Hopefully soon I should have a intro and outro created. Seeing this is my first video, so I'm not really prepared yet. Long ago, the All Father Ogi united the worlds. He, do, he threw down his bows and cast them into the Tenth World. He split the bows that held their prison to the world tree and left it to grow unanchored, a place of death. For centuries, this world slumbered uneasily, but it did not die. As glacial ages passed, kingdoms rose and fell out of sight of gods. When Owen heard his enemies were going well to get to the he looked to the Umeg Guard and sent his falcons to scour their battlefields and the grass of their warriors. Dead to the world, they were born again in Valhalla. I still have to wait for you to get to the beginning cutscene so I can actually join. I'm now flying in on the giant tree, though, so you should be able to join. That's right, the giant birdie is taking me to where I need to go. I'm pretty sure this oh, is no. the first and only time we see the giant birdie. Well, we got another birdie to go up the south. He's a normal birdie. Well, a very large bird. Ah, here we are. Alright, I landed from the birdie. Hey, I should be able to play any in any any second now. <laughs> And I'm, I'm just going to skip past most of what Hugin is saying, since I've already read through it in the first Valheim. Yep. But, also, but I'm sure, I'm sure Incinerator may or may not end up reading it for his video. I, sh I shall let my viewers read it. I will give them plenty of time. And if he doesn't, if, and to Incinerator's viewers, if he doesn't give you time, just pause the video, then yell at him in the comments. I read slow, so if, if, if you read slower than I do, then... Here, Lord. Hey, look! They add little numbers to the stamina bar. Oh, yeah. I, I saw that they did that in the update log. I didn't okay, see the update log. Um, yeah, they added a lot of balancing stuff. Um, I still cannot join. Uh, <laughs> but, back. <clears throat> I'm picking up plenty of raspberries. We know it's tab, not. Alright, we got my stone axe. This will be my weapon of choice for now. And there's also skills I need to focus on. I'm thinking, I'm thinking like last time, I'm going to focus ma mostly on the more sneaky skills with a side, with my main Dang weapon trouble. type being a bow. Okay. Oh, hi there, Grayling. Yeah, my main weapon is probably going to be a bow. Side weapon of an axe. Um, I would think I'm going to go primary spear again. It does burn through a lot more energy, but it attacks a lot faster. Yeah. They're showing off a lot more of the numbers than they did before. Yes. The numbers, were all, the numbers were already in the programming, because you have to have numbers in the code, but now they're letting us see the numbers. I still cannot join. That's odd. Is it saying something about the password, or...? It's not, I can't see the server. Try closing I... Valheim out and opening up again. 
you can pause your OBS by just opening it and then clicking the little pause button. Yeah, I've, I've already Eight quit. I've already closed it out once. I don't think closing it out stops before. No, 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 I mean closed out Valheim. Okay. Then maybe I'm gonna need to hop off and hop back on. You did actually set the server up, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm quite certain I did. It could be because I, I'm loading, I was loading it in for the first time that's glitching out. That's possible. I mean, it, they did do major overall, so you don't really know what's yeah what's gotten affected by code and stuff. Yeah. Um, we we just it's gonna have the same password, obviously. And all of this shall be cut out because I know people get bored of watching people have technical difficulties. YT round two. YT round two. Start server. Their password base. Start. <laughs> yeah. When my editor gets around to this video. Honestly, I might just have I might just have him scrap all the editing for the first series. Because that's like 15 videos backlog. But when my editor gets to this, I'm sure we'll end up having him... I'm sure he'll cut out a good bit of it. If he ever gets to him. <laughs> yeah, that is a pretty big if. And yes, Matt's Aaron, I, know, yourself. I know you will eventually be seeing this. I am talking to you. Loading, loading, loading. I got the screen with the giant troll. I waiting for you to load so I waiting for you to load so I can join the surf. <laughs> yeah, Valheim servers there's look they work a lot like Minecraft land buildings. Only you don't have to be on the same internet. I, I haven't like hit an escape to open up my inventory. I need to get used to the Valheim controls. Cause it's been a while since I played. I'm just. I wonder if my Steam's having issues. Yeah, it could be something with either of our Steam. I see shouldn't if, have. See if Steam says I'm online. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm checking. I'm just sitting here restoring an old old house that I uh, just happened to spawn next to. It's currently playing Velma. No. But it also is, at the same time it says you're currently not online. <laughs> Alright, that's the issue. I'm gonna have to... Alright, this is gonna take a second. I recommend now. Alright, I think we fixed the uh, technical difficulty. Won't really know for certain until the generator joins. Do, 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 do. I see it! Connecting. Ooh. Okay, now that technical difficulties have been resolved, Welcome back, everyone. And password. Yeah, Incinerator doesn't have an ed editor. He's just editing it himself, so he so he's not uploading. Unedited. 
but that means if you want to see the unedited version of any of the Malheim videos, those, and don't feel like waiting on my editor, but also don't mind waiting on Groot, then go to him. I need to read. Dear lord, this bird is huge. I forgot how big he was. Yeah. By the is way, just... if I see any- if I- If by the next- like, 24 hours after this video goes online, if I- if I see that Incinerator has even one less subscriber than I do, then I'm going to figure out who- figure out who isn't subscribed, and find them, steal their phone, Subscribe to the incinerator. I literally have zero subscribers and falling out of the sky. I bring tightings. Come at me, Grayling. Welcome to the tenth world for it. Ah, yes, the Forsaken. We must kill them all. Make sure you and tell then we can other players, by the way. Da, 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 da. These magical stones were scattered throughout the lands by Odin. As signposts pointing towards the ritual grounds for the Forsaken, if in if inspected closer, this one will reveal the summoning place of Ekta, your I first prey. <laughs> he is a mighty beast, so you need to properly arm yourself before even attempting to defeat him. And we need to let him siege our base a few times so that so that we actually get Uber Eat sieges and not just monster sieges. Um Ector is literally 20 feet away. Oh, wow. This has to be the second closest Ector spawn I've ever gotten. Workbench allows you to craft complex items as well as giving you access to lots more building pieces to construct with the hammer. Yes, construction. Why is there a hole in the ground? Because I was restoring gonna... the building and, and never finished. Ah. Uh, if you want, you can oh. block up the hole. Well, seeing as I had nothing yet. Ha! Ah, punch tree. Punch. 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 Yeah, it is, it is kind of nice how they added actual stamina bars. <laughs> Yeah, now I'm just out looking for ores. And now here's the thing you have to decide whenever you want to do eat food. Do you want to eat a health food or do you want to eat a stamina food? I'm going to be eating the same food that I previously ate. Because they work yeah. well for me. Yeah, but they could be, um, they could have been adjusted. Yeah. So they might not... If they... If I do end up finding something better that isn't too much of a hassle to acquire, I might end up replacing something with that, but... 
Yeah. We definitely, th this time around, this time around, we definitely need to actually farm instead of just try to hunt everything. Yeah, I remember around the end of last one, we were, we had a pretty good carrot farm going. Oh, by, oh, we by the way, I have learned terraforming with the hoe reduces, causes the ground, like, causes a lot of lag. So try not to terraform. Really? Yeah. What causes so much lag from it? I don't know. But you terraform a lot, and you can't even enter some areas. Interesting. Ah, uh, yes, the boar. Her runestone. Come here, boars. I'm just punching trees. I'm just punching trees over and over again. Yeah. I'm gonna get lots of wood so I can. Hi there, Grayling. Have plenty to craft with. Yeah, 25 wood should we plenty craft with. And okay, let's... my axe is now broken. It's fine, you can go fix it. Yep. Let's find some loose rocks. Most items should be crafted, however, due to your recent departure from Midgar, you will have to recall the true shape of objects. Just pick things up and it will all come back to you, I'm sure. My lesser brother... But it tells me. When I assume the that he was up. in is his lesser brother. Even though that he's gigantic. Yeah. But he doesn't talk to us, so. Maybe he's lesser because he's less intelligent? Who knows? But if if you noticed when he flew, when we flew us in, he had blood on his talons and on his feathers. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else noticed that, but I did. What was that? Let's say I can pick up. I never really looked into it, but... Oh no, I can't fight a boar without a weapon. Come boar, chase me. Let's go home. Then I can repair my axe and kill you there. There's a bunch of deer next to the house. Yeah, I know. By the way, I don't I don't plan on setting up like big houses like we did last time. Yeah. What? Oh, there he is. Like where did he go? Make some wooden arrows. Eat a snack. I just eat Hi there, mushroom. Boar. Oh, okay, so... Oh, it tells you how much health and stamina and how long it... Oh, that's so much nicer now. It tells you what can you eat, how much bonus it gives you, and how long it'll last. That's... Yes, I, I love that. It. It's so much better. It. It's so much better. Oh, I finally found stone. Okay, nice. No need a lot more. No new building materials. Or no new build things. Not yet, at least. Yeah. Judging by the fact that the big that the update was nicknamed Karth and Hall, I figured we would be getting a few. Moves, but um, I don't think there's any of the basic ones, but I think some of the higher level stuff. Yeah. Because I saw something about the oak. Guess. I saw something about the oak stuff. Fine wood? Um, I don't know, but I, I saw in the update something. log that there's... I just saw something in or Dark Oak or something, but there was different kinds of... Huh. Um, Never seen Dark Oak. All I know is I saw different kinds of... It showed that there's different types of building, so... I'm sure we'll unlock them once we get some of that other stuff. If I can find some freaking rocks.
just need some rocks. I'll be editing this and cringing the entire time. Yeah. Raspberries. I wouldn't Raspberries. be cringing when I was editing when I'm editing my own. I'm, I'd just more be sitting there more like Hey, just Okay. Is this entertaining? Because it's not entertaining to watch the to watch a video when when you're the one who made it. That's true. You gotta think of what everybody else will in, enjoy. Yeah. And there's a great link. I don't really have anything to kill you with. Actually, I do. I have a torch. That's about you it. You can kill a grayling with your fist without issue. Yeah, but do I really want to? Yes. Not particularly. I'm going to run into the house right quick and craft an axe. No an axe. Craft. Oh, I forgot to take time to craft things. Oh, cool. Die. Die. There's a little bar that pops up when you block. Oh, there's a block meter? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that. Okay, now I need to craft a hammer. Oh, fix X. Prepare. Okay, craft hammer. Okay, so now I unlock some new recipes. A lot of new recipes. Okay, so three to prepare. Oop, that was the wrong button. I meant to repair. I accidentally killed our steps. Well, I'll fix them. Look, accidents happen. Yep, that's how that's how I came into the world. Self-depreciation jokes. Self-depreciating jokes are fun. Uh. Okay, so... Um... Do, 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 do. Uh, hint for the hammer. Definitely going down it with a uh, high sneak skill again. <laughs> um, let's see. Hi there, nets. Let me chop at your nets. <sighs> okay, so raspberries are a stamina food. That's nice to know. Um, now what do you wish to hint me? Are you going to yell at me about the cold? Yes, yep. if Tibbeter drops a knife, you're wet. I literally if you're just wet, saw Hugan telling me the same thing. Seek shelter by an open fire. This is your best option when this happens. Um, being cold and wet gives you debuffs. So it, it reduces your health and stamina regeneration rates. But other than that... So it gives you debuffs. Yeah. Fun fact, when you block with an axe, it kind of sounds like metal striking metal. Or like, like two swords. Okay. Um... So, some of the things we need to... Well, first we need to make our house larger. Because we don't have space to sleep. <laughs> um... Hey, and... So and I yes? I think I, I think I found a larger house. Um, let me check the map. Okay, I see where you're at. Do, 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 do. I'm training my running skill. 
and try the water too, so... Oh, yes. I mean, the water the is of, fun. I mean, the process of restoring it. The water is half the reason why our last world ended poorly. Okay, that's because we were in the swamp and we were unprepared. Yeah, we, we were somewhat unprepared. We thought we were prepared, but apparently we were. We have found the summoning place of the great one of the forsaken. Make the correct officing at the altar and they will come. Be wary though, the forsaken are not an easy prey. So craft a wicked weapon, don your finest armor, and eat a hearty meal before engaging them in combat. You eat the hearty meal so that you won't die in an empty stomach. <laughs> That's one reason. Also, cool. food gives you buff. Yeah. That's like the little reason. Just you don't you don't want to die on an empty stomach, do you? Nobody does. Because we will probably die. At least. Wait. What? Well, considering what? I what? plan on being like professional archer in this game, in this playthrough, I'm doubtful that I'll die. Okay, ho hold up. Um, this usually there are two ecter spawns. Yes. Usually two spawns for every bot. And Why are they literally right next to one another? <laughs> of course they are! <laughs> of course they are! Why wouldn't they be? Literally, I went straight line to you, and I, went, I was like, okay, here's one of them. That's where I got the, the mm -hmm. hint. And then I can't, I, I just beeline straight to you and ran right into the other one. I was like, um, why is there another Hector spawn? That's funny. Oh, you are cold. I know I'm cold. You had sprinting doesn't make you warm. Yeah. Ah, here's a few more boars. Die. Die. I may be Groot, but that doesn't mean I won't kill both you as well. I am Groot. Ah! As I sprint and run out of stamina. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Ah, I saw the blocking meter. I've got eight health. Actually, I want to kind of test the blocking mechanic. I've got eight health. Okay. I'm coming, friend. I eliminated the threat of the area. I just need one more leather and I can make myself a bow, though. Nice. Actually, I don't have any, never mind. <laughs> World save in 30 seconds. See, this is, this, I like it that this game at least warns you that when you're about to world save, it, because... It used to not. But when it, when it began, I was like, well, thank you for doing so. It gets really laggy whenever it does a world save. Mm -hmm. I just wish it would give like a 10 second warning as well. But Benjis yeah, can't be choosers. Yeah. Okay, so... Will the um, smoke filter out through those corners? Um, I wouldn't count on it. Okay. Here, I've got a solution. Make a slight offshoot. Um, you're on fire. Are, are you alive? Are you alive? I was at 9 health max except in a fire. 
Oh, and then the world save. <laughs> well, we have the first death of the game. Not the by fire. Three, not by super powerful bots, but by campfire. The actual deadliest thing in this game. Actually, no, the, the deadliest thing in this game is actually the trees. And you'll see why later, when we actually drop one on each other. <laughs> With the second most deadly thing being something I have seen I have seen people talk about countless times on the Valheim subreddit, the death mosquito. I personally don't know what it is. Because I am not on the Valheim subreddit. I made two I've, deaths. I've seen like I've seen what it looks like. I haven't seen how much health or damage it does, but it is, from, from what people say about it, it is a terrifying foe. Fun! A headrest for the wary! Sleep the night away in your bed, and awaken feeling refreshed and full of energy. Another yep, found, improvement to your second, home! I found the second egg to spawn. would be some chest where you can store items. Good practice to always have some spare equipment. If something unfortunate would happen to you while exploring. Hmm. Hmm. It almost seems like it's foreshadowing. It almost seems like... We should definitely have a spare book before we go so venture off like we did last time. Yeah. If not a spare boat, then at least a spare bronze spoons. When we get that far. Nighty night time. The bird Will is literally get... sitting on me while I sleep. <laughs> Aw, I didn't get any cutscenes. Am I- I'm- okay. It's like, am I stuck in the roof? <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? Okay, let me go ahead and put these, this food up in the corners. So, eat, eat. Okay, nice. Okay, so today shall be exploration and hunting. I'll go ahead and start cooking some of the meat. a one star deer but there's no way I'm gonna be able to catch it. Deer you can't you almost can't catch until you get um a bow. Yeah. A boar literally walked up to me. He's just asking if he to do a bow. <laughs> and who am I to deny him his wish? Nom nom! I heard you killing that boar. I also like how they added the um, auto pickup. Because that was also not originally. Ooh, one star boar! No, actually, you could always auto pick up. Well. The only time you couldn't is when it would make you encumbered. But it wouldn't. It wouldn't auto pick up some stuff. Yeah, if, it, if the thing would make you encumbered, it would. Mm. Okay. I can I can literally hear the boars dying from where I'm at. No idea. Oh. It's always fun when you get the combos and you finish it, and then it's crits. I'm spamming E on a campfire. I'm cutting down a tree. Timber! Oh, I didn't kill anything because it landed on top of some rocks. What's well, so so really fun is when you kill a deer with a tree before you, before you're even supposed to be able to kill deer. I was kind of, that's what I was kind of trying to do.
deforestation across the nation. What's also fun is when you get fine wood before you're supposed to. Yeah. I don't really plan on doing that much this time though, but you're more than welcome to. It's like, oh, don't kill yourself. Okay. <laughs> we almost had an incident. What did you do? Well, I didn't do anything yet, but I almost had an incident. What did you almost do? I almost dropped a tree on my head, and I have a tree stuck inside of another tree. Yeah, you I'm, have chopping, to come I'm chopping down two trees. Alright, I'm on my way. I was just chopping down two trees at once. Well, no, I cut one in half, and then the other top half is stuck in the top of the other two trees. Is it kind of what it looks like in the game that I'm making with when I chop down a tree that's right next to another one? It looks like I'm trying to build the tree house, but out of entire trees. <laughs> yep, I've seen that before. I've never seen it so straight though. It just I just chopped it and it went doop, leave, and these, just... leave these two trees alone. That log that's still funny. never fall. That's that's amazing. Ember! Oh, it didn't kill me. Okay, that's good. <laughs> there are many reasons why you don't want to get killed. Including Dying and losing all your stuff. Um, your skills get slightly lowered. Yeah, and it's kind of embarrassing when you die to something stupid. Yes, it was quite. A, it was a little embarrassing when I died to a fire. But I don't think you can. Can you die to full damage in this game? Yes. Okay, that's probably the most embarrassing way to die, because it's very hard to, to take fall damage in this game. I mean, I feel like it's a lot easier once you start going into the mountains. But even then, it's hard to just find a cliffside to jump off of, and I broke my axe. You underestimate how high the mountains actually go. Oh, no, that's probably fair. I hear next. Yeah. There's a fog bank here. It's strange to hide a deer, but no deer escapes my sights. <laughs> oh, I see that you built the um, chopping block. Yep. I need to get back to Valheim aiming, though. Um, I really do need to just readjust to Valheim. Yeah. Um, okay, I'm gonna Got go ahead and craft. Just one shot of one star deer! Oh, I forgot to make my style. Dang it! Wait. I missed up. There's, there's a new meat specifically from deer. Really? You can eat three meats, well, three different types of meat, and then fight the extra fight. Yeah. Because you get four. Oh, because it's now boar meat. meat. You get neck tails. And now, deer meat. One. I'm, I'm going to practice my blocking. Come on. Come on. Come on. Well, I now I now have enough deer heads to fight Ector. Um, I don't think we're quite ready for that. Yeah, I I didn't say we were. I said I, I, but I said we could. If we were to die, I'm just practicing my blocking. Okay. 
we really should focus a lot on vlogging before we go to the swamp or even the black forest. Yeah, because the black forest is not so bad, but you still is um, not so bad unless you're in like very early stage. Yeah. But you can also skill level on each other, so we don't necessarily have to have enemies to kill. Yeah. That's one of the good things about this game, is you can actually train on each other. But if you're not careful, you will kill each other. Yeah. <laughs> Which then defies the point of training. the opposite effect of what you want. Well, my viewers just saw how deadly a tree could be. Did you just die to a tree? Yes. <laughs> and I missed it. Well, my viewers just are watching me get training and stuff. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and kill it. I get to level five. That's good enough for right now. You know, Incinerator, we're gonna need to start breeding boars. Probably. I, I know you can do it. And, and I'm sure it would be fun um, to do. Yes, they also eat more different types of foods now. Yeah. So it's gonna be easier to do it. The big challenge is just gonna be getting in a, getting two boars in a pit. Or in a pit. Well, it, I think you can tame them and then they'll, they'll follow you. Or you can make them follow you. We'll figure it out. Ooh, I found flint. Okay, the log that killed me is literally standing straight up. <laughs> Come over here, look! <laughs> yeah, I can see this. Oh, wait, let me put up that so I can run faster. Right behind me. This is what killed me. I was standing right here, and then I just instantly died. It bonked you in the head. Because it's not straight up, it's slightly angled. It must have bonked you in the head, head somehow. It, from, from the angle that I was coming at it from, it looked like it was standing straight up. Yeah, but if you back up just a little bit, you can see that it's not quite straight up. Yeah. So it bonked you, you in the head just hard enough to kill you, apparently. Yeah. Trying to grab a bunch of flint, because we're going to need it. So our first goal of this episode is to basically just get tools and armor and hunt. It's our prep episode. As most first episodes are, our, and our base can, can be a little bit bigger, but it doesn't need to be super huge. Yeah. Honestly, I'm going to be going for more outdoors look on my, on the base this time. Not just store everything in a big building. Oh, we can also just have several buildings. So we can have a storage building, we can have... Yeah. As we need to make sure we keep everything organized. It's kind of bad at that. Yes, I know I am. Said we, as in us all in general. I know, but I also know I'm the I'm the one who's really bad at it. Mm. 
I do try to keep things organized. Actually, speaking of which, okay, I'm not I even. We have like one halfway. chest for one thing, and then I've got miscellaneous chests for literally everything else. Yeah, the only thing that that I don't like is that you can only use one chest at a, like you can't both be using the chest at yeah. the same time. By the way, to, with any complaints we have about the game, it, it's just like, what we would like to do differently. We're not saying, yeah. like, devs are bad for not doing this. These guys are really good. And Incinerator couldn't do better if you Incinerator could do better if you tried. Better could. Okay, so did you say could or couldn't? Couldn't. Oh. Well... Not yet. Okay, I need six more flint and another leather scrap. Um... Did you say six more flint? Because I had that exactly. Well, I meant four. I don't... I, I had six. I don't know why I said six. Did I say six? I don't even know. You said six more flints. I probably looked at my inventory and said, yes, I need six more flint. <laughs> ah, be beehive. Um, hold on. Let me shoot down this corner and I'll go to the beehive. Oh, I've got that one more pair of leather that you said you needed. And I can start using the flint spear, which is... I don't I, I don't want to say it's a broken weapon, but it's a it's pretty good starter weapon. Alright, where is the beehive? It's, like, right over here. There it is. Ah, in that building. Okay. On this end. Good. See it? I got the queen bee, but I got poisoned. It's fine. Yeah, what you need to do is wait for them to stop making noise and then you probe. It's fun, I had food. Oh. Oh. Looks like our Uber Eats is here. They got That's angry literally animals. what this feels like with how weak these things are. The forest is angry at us. Well, free XP. More Uber <laughs> Eats has arrived. I got a neck tail. Oh, fun fact, if we both eat the zone, it starts up it starts up the thing again. So we both need to come back in. Oh, someone got feathers. Probably killed a birdie somewhere. I think he might have crushed a bird. I just punched- I just punched a neck to death. Necks are literally the weakest enemy you can face in this game. Even the two stars are jokes. Where'd that boar go? I saw a boar. Yeah, I can see him running off. Get back here, boar. Oh no, don't calm down. Oh. Monsters will lay siege to your camp from time to time. Strength of arms does not guarantee your victory in these situations. Build a strong defense to weather out the storm. Especially if you get the ground is shaking, one. 
drink the arms will definitely not help you against two or three trolls. Yeah, they're they're fun. Fun. Not fun. They are very, very difficult. The best way to deal with a troll is don't. <laughs> Until you are ready to. No, it's pull out a bow and arrow and outrun them. Yeah, they they, they you are. What do when you sprint? You can easily outmaneuver them, but if you get hit with them, they will pretty much one shot you. They're more dangerous than the first boss. <laughs> yeah. And, and of course, you can name Adler. Wait, what? The first boss is named Ether. I, I was saying, like, you can say his name. The game says oh, yeah. Start. Yeah, I was just saying that the, the trolls are stronger than the first boss. Yeah. Fun fact, I had one playthrough where I hadn't shot a single bow and a single arrow until I started the boss fight. And by the time I was done, I was level 8 in, in bows. Yeah, if you're trying to fight Hector, there's no point in doing anything but use a bow. Actually, because... you've got a tower shield, you can block all damage. Really? Tower shield, full leather armor, I find I too much took no damage. Hmm. Should I go a tank class this time? That's what you did last time. Well, yeah, I kind of, I was, I was kind of a tank class. Yeah, the biggest issue is with the tower shield, you go super slow if you got pulled out. Yeah. Like sprinting is sprinting for, with the tower shield is just like normal walking without. Well, I mean, you can always put it up and then pull it back out again. Yeah. Um, did I get enough? No, I need... need to I'm not saying not to use it, I'm just saying know the risk. Yeah, well, yeah, of course. Which, I'm... I'm not super worried about the speed thing anyways. Yeah. Also, blocking is based off more of your health than it is your stamina now. Yeah, I will say that little test I had where I learned the power of the tower shield was before Hearth and Home came out. I believe it actually came out Thursday, so the fact that they've already had a bit of a slight bug fixing update after that is insane. Because we're recording this on Sunday. Yeah, and they've already released a small bug fix. I think they release them at least once a week. Maybe. But that just shows how good these devs are. Okay, well, I'm um, going to go ahead and go to the base. Okay, so... So, go ahead. Okay, so I'm going to go for the wooden tower shield. And to tower shield spear. And that should be pretty, pretty good weapon. How long have I been recording? Okay, the recording's almost an hour. Let me let me go ahead and do an outro, and then I'll start up another video. Let's see, yep, this looks like a safe, safe place of any. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If so, you know what button to hit. If not, again, you know what button to hit, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.